The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. During the day, operational, tactical and army aviation have hit 74 assets, including two command posts, 20 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration, as well as two missile and artillery weapon depots. Missile troops and artillery units have hit 223 areas of manpower and military equipment concentration and destroyed three command posts and two ammunition depots. The attacks have resulted in the elimination of more than 100 nationalists and up to 19 armored and motor vehicles. Russian air defense means have shot down one Ukrainian Su-25 aircraft near Shiroka Dnepropetrovsk region. In addition, one Mi-8 helicopter of the Ukrainian Air Force has been shot down near Novodmitrovka, Kherson region. In addition, four Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down near Lysychansk, Krivorok and Kulinovka, Kharkov region. In total, 164 Ukrainian aircraft and 125 helicopters, 798 unmanned aerial vehicles, 302 anti-aircraft missile systems, 2,983 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 351 multiple launch rocket systems, 1,440 field artillery and motors, as well as 2,796 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. I would like to point out that another Ukrainian Bayraktar TB2 unmanned aerial vehicle has been shot down by the Russian air defense means this afternoon near Snake Island. The Kyiv regime thus has lost 30 military unmanned aerial vehicles alone in this area over the past three days. Nine of these, I remind you, are Bayraktar TB2 strike unmanned aerial vehicles. The unmanned aerial vehicles were all used in the failed PR campaign by the Kyiv regime to seize Snake Island on the eve of May 9, the Great Patriotic War Victory Day. In addition, three more bodies of Ukrainian saboteurs nailed from the sea were found by Russian servicemen on the shore today. Now, 27 bodies of Ukrainian special forces and nationalist fighters remain at Snake Island as a result of Kyiv's failed operation. In total, the Kyiv regime has lost three Su-24 bombers and one Su-27 fighter jet near Snake Island during military pointless attempt to seize the island. Ten Ukrainian Air Force helicopters have been destroyed. Among them, three Mi-8 helicopters with paratroopers on board and one Mi-24 support helicopter have been shot down in the air. In addition, six more Mi-8 and Mi-24 helicopters involved in the operation have been destroyed on the ground near Arcis, Odessa region. Also, three Ukrainian Santor armored amphibious assault boats with Marines on board have been destroyed. Thus, the adventure ended in disaster for Ukraine. The Kyiv regime's mindless PR campaign to seize Snake Island on the eve of Victory Day resulted in the senseless deaths of more than five dozen Ukrainian fighters and members of elite Ukrainian units. The loss of four aircraft, ten helicopters, three boats and 30 unmanned aerial vehicles.